What's up guys, Brunsnick's back, and this is the Brunswick Bionic Positioner XF. A glove that allow you to give wrist support, has the finger option for more increased support and lift. We're gonna get this on the lanes, we're gonna test it out from all different angles and play with the adjustments. Before we get to all that, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Now, let's see the Brunswick Bionic Positioner XF on the lanes. All right, we're talking about the Bionic Positioner XF. Stands for extended finger. As you can see, the difference between the Bionic Positioner and the Bionic Positioner XF is this elongated finger for more support with the index finger. So, we're gonna try it out. Let's see what this says on here. A lot of the same stuff, durable, aluminum construction, lightweight for maximum comfort, provides options for multiple wrist cup and lateral positions. And that's what we're gonna go over. We're gonna talk about it. We're gonna do the adjustments. We're gonna throw some shots. So let's get to it. So I wear a medium in this glove. Let's see how the adjustment here is for the first time getting this on. You know, preference wise, I don't like it super snug, but I also need it to not wiggle around. So once we get that there, this thing hooks right there. Tighten her up. Oh, nope, missed it. Take two. There we go. There it is. Okay, now we're in it. There we go. So the important thing here is to make sure that the spin dial here that adjusts the cupping action of it is always in that slot because if you're not in that slot, you're gonna have motion. And that's not what you want. Although you can use it like that, I suppose you could, but the idea is you want it locked in right there so that it doesn't move. I got it on zero, zero, straight up straight cupping. Let's throw some shots. Let's see how the Bionic Positioner XF looks for me. All right. Now the whole idea here is to keep that finger aligned with the finger there so that you get the maximum support. Carry. <laughs> Loving this glove already. Yeah, good carry there, good roll. So we're gonna talk about some of the adjustments we can make and what it's gonna do and affect the ball roll. You know, what kind of player is gonna need a glove like this? You know, you may have tried different gloves. You may have tried a Robbie's. You may have tried something that's more basic, but maybe you're starting to get some arthritis in your hand. Maybe you just need a little bit more uh, control with the index finger. You know, you need a little bit more support and that's what this glove offers. Let's try another shot there. Make a small adjustment left. That ball certainly wanted to hook. Let's do it again. Oh, goodness gracious. All right, so let's try the first adjustment. So the first adjustment will be made with the wing nut to give me some more lateral move so we can move it this way or we can move it this way. So we're gonna move it this way to start. We'll put it on the number three that way. Looks like it goes to a maximum of about four. But that's gonna put my hand more in a position this way and the same flat wrist cupping. So let's try a couple shots like that and I'll tell you about what I feel, see what I feel different here, because it's going to put my hand in a little different position at the bottom. And it's set up here. Nice. Not bad. So that adjustment makes me feel like I spin the ball a little bit more. You know, with the hand position going that way, I feel like it increases my tilt and lowers my track a little bit. So let's adjust it the other way. So now we're gonna go this way with it. Okay, we'll put that on number three. And we'll throw another shot. So now we're there, flat as well. Let's see what the track did there. Yeah, it lowered the track just a little bit on that last shot. Let's try it. So now my hand is definitely in a different position. And let's do it. Did 
Did you see the difference in the roll? Because I sure felt it. Putting the position this way as opposed to the other way, I feel like I'm more around the side of the ball where it's giving me a lot more axis rotation and a, you know, a lot more back end motion as a result. So the main thing that I've found with these gloves is don't try to fight what the glove position is doing for you. So if you're flat and you're trying to cup your wrist during the release, you're not gonna have a great time with it. You wanna keep your hand kind of pressed up against the back and let the glove do most of the work for you. So I'm gonna try one more shot, but let's try a resin ball. You know, something that's a little more skid flippy here. Let's move in and see what happens when we try to hook it. Great results. Yeah, I think if you don't feel like you need a lot of help, you know, I'm a pretty advanced bowler. I have a pretty high rev rate already. I don't need the help with revs or hand position or anything like that. But if I were to get a little bit of strain or arthritis in my hand where I just needed a little bit of support at the bottom, I would use this at a flatter angle here and just play with the different adjustment lateral. So without more said, let's put this back to zero. And now let's start adjusting the cup. So you do that by adjusting this little screw. It goes up, we're gonna put it right in the middle. There, we're gonna put this back in. We're locked in, so now we got a little bit more cup and now we're straight up and down zero. Let's try a couple shots with that same ball. So now I can feel my finger kind of sandwiched a little bit harder up against the ball here. Uh oh, all right. So that one did strike, it did come back, but because I adjusted the lateral motion a little bit more flat, I felt like I was more up the back of the ball. I was still underneath it and I got good roll, but this would probably be better playing from straight. So let's change the other ball, the new blue, and let's play a little bit straighter angle with it. More confidence playing straighter with the zero lateral. I think the lateral makes a whole lot of difference. Obviously I have a little more cup there. So let's change it. Uh, let's go right. There we go. The number three here. And let's see if this gives me a little bit more around the side of it compared to that last shot. So hopefully with that change now, we should see the ball finish a little stronger. Oh yeah. So getting around the side of it more creates a little bit more action down lane. So let's, uh, let's move it back to zero and let's change this cup all the way to the tippy top. So let's get this in motion here. So we went back to zero, we're up and down, and now we're maximum cup. We're gonna throw the same shot and we'll see what it does for me. This is gonna feel like I'm really pressed up against the ball here. Because with that cup, it really sandwiches that finger up against it. Let's try it. Oh, I felt like I grabbed it big time. Yeah, that gave me a lot more at the bottom. I felt like I had a lot of more lift and rotation from the starting point because I started with my fingers at a different position. So I think that's a little bit overboard for me. Obviously that's the max cup. That didn't feel comfortable, but we're gonna try one more adjustment. We're gonna try it this way. That's been the most comfortable for me. This is gonna increase the rotation, axis rotation. Let's see if we can't get some more back end out of it. Might move in just a board or two here. Let's try it. Oh, yeah, here it comes. Yeah, so that definitely changed the way the thing rolled for me. But this is pretty aggressive. Let's try this skid flip ball, a couple shots here and see if we can't see some big bending action on the back. All right, 
I'm gonna move it in here with this ball. This really gets me around the side of it. I'm almost spinning it. Yeah, that's overkill. Yeah, if you really wanna get around the side of it, if you really wanna make that ball back end, I mean, that ball saw it really early and hooked, and that's not for me. So let's, uh, let's move this all the way back flat and see what happens. Now, when I throw that same shot, I'm not gonna change the ladder. We're just gonna change the cupping back to flat. We're gonna try to throw that same shot. So a lot more forward roll, a lot more off the back of it. So I left a 10 pin there. Now, are these gloves good to pick up 10 pins? I think if you're at the flat position, I think you absolutely could. You know, you wanna put this back to zero, I think, so you're straight up and down like that. But you can make these adjustments on the fly and then pick up your spare. So let's try it and go back to my other ball here that goes a little straighter. And try to pick off a 10 pin clean here. No problem. Picked up your spare, no problem. So these gloves definitely serve a purpose. You know, with the extra finger, the XF, you get a little bit more positioning with the finger, you get a little bit more support. And what I found the difference between this and the Bionic was that it definitely felt like I put my hand in it and it got me around the side of it earlier. So that's the main difference I see between the Bionic, Bionic XF. XF's got the extra finger. So if you're looking for a lot more tilt and side turn, go with the XF. If you're looking for a little more versatility and just support, go with the Bionic Original Positioner. If you have any questions, comments about all these videos, put them below in the comment box. Please subscribe. Talk to you guys soon.